Because there are so many of you coming for the first time, I will need to explain some things very quickly. Uh, when God wants to speak to a congregation, no matter how large, he addresses himself to individuals. So you may hear as we go along that there is someone here and at the end of the day the someone may end up to be about a hundred people or more. Don't think we have made a mistake. That's the way he talks. Dr. Adeboye uh, was uh, sort of uh, doing induction for some people who are coming to, uh, to his uh, a uh, redeemed service in London for the first time. So I think this was uh, maybe a few months ago, and uh, he, he he was telling he was telling them that uh, uh, when God wanted to speak to particular individuals, to individuals, and uh, when he wanted to speak to a congregation and he actually his message is for particular individuals in the congregation that uh, uh, what God does is to say that there is someone here he said that that is how God addresses individuals uh, in a congregation that God says that there is someone here uh, and he concluded by saying that the his audience, the people should not worry. Uh, that, that that wasn't a mistaken way of speaking. That in actual fact, that that is actually the way God talks. Uh, that, that that is a very sad thing. That is a very very sad thing. Uh, when I saw this clip, I, I nicknamed it Lying with Honor. Lying with a straight face. It is one of the, is one of the examples of the fact that Dr. Adeboye does not fear God. In Adeboye has got no fear of God at all in him. And therefore, he can use the method of uh, of shamans the method of babalaos the method of uh, satanic oracles and put the word in the mouth of god and say that is how god speaks uh, this short video is going to be short maybe 10 minutes at the most maybe 15 is another way of warning people that Dr. Adeboye has got no contact at, at all <clears throat> with the God of the Bible. There is someone here, which is something many of you would have heard from his mouth. And that is succeeded by some supposed words of prophecy, which he, which he was trying to explain or, or rather excuse to this new uh, inductees into the into the redeemed uh, evil. There's someone here. The God of the Bible never speaks like that. Please let me. As I said, this is going to be short. There is someone here in a congregation of two, in a congregation of two hundred. In a congregation of 2 million, in a congregation of 200 million, is not, is not the way the God of the universe speaks. It's only shamans. I know many of you people, you have been so detached from the roots of your forefathers that somebody, an 80 year old man, could come and tell you stories that are lies. And he could say that is the way God speaks. My job, my job is to fear God and tell you that is not the way God speaks. The God of the Bible does not speak that way. If you are more than 100 billion, 
and God has something to tell you out of the hundred billion. The God of the Bible is far more competent, far more knowledgeable that he knows your name. He knows your name. He knows the name of your father. To the last hundred generations, he will mention your name. The God of the Bible never used the phrase that Dr. Adeboye uses to deceive you people. That there is someone here. There is someone here is the way when we were growing up in the 60s. That was the way that the Ifa priest used to speak. That was, that was the code word for Babalawo. That was the code word for shamans. It is important each of you should open his eyes, should open his ears, open the Bible. There is someone here. It's never the signature of the God of the universe. The God of the universe knows the last cell. He knows the last cell, the last molecule in your body. He identifies it. The Lord Jesus Christ said that Christ, that God, has numbers for each of the years of your head. That statement was made about 2,000 years ago when there was no computer. That God, as at that time, had number, had code for each of the air on the head, on the body of every person. And you can, you can understand that to mean the, for each of the air on the body of every animal. So there is someone here, if I should tell you, is the code word, is the way the Babala or the shaman speak is never the way the God of the universe speaks. I, I actually did just a little thing here. If you read uh, the book of Exodus, uh, I think from verse, uh, chapter 25 to around chapter 32, chapter 31, chapter 32, you see God giving detailed instructions on how the ark was to be made. What kind of metals? What kind of gold? What kind of silver? What kind of clothing? In what way the ark, the effort, the dresses of the, of the, of the high priest, of the ordinary priest, in what way all those things should be made? In what way the ointment should be made? The anointing oil should be made? Out of about three or four million people, God came. In Exodus chapter 31, verse 2 and verse 6, to name the individuals that were to do those things. God named them in actual fact. He did not only name them, he named their father. He named their tribe so that everybody knew who he was talking about. That is the way God works. If God has anything to tell you, if you are really that important that you must send anybody to tell you anything, out of a hundred billion people, the, the God of the universe will name your name. It's only the clairvoyant. It's only shamans that use mathematics, that use statistics, that use probabilities to prophesy. The God of the universe does not use probabilities to prophesy. For many of you that are hearing but you are not seeing, this work is to warn you. This work is to warn so many people that will go to hell following Dr. Adeboye that God has sent somebody, a stammerer, to them to warn them that what Dr. Adeboye is saying is an affront against God. Dr. Adeboye is saying his own mind and he's saying he's ascribing those things to God. They are ne never from God. If you read the book of Isaiah, for example, Isaiah chapter 42, chapter 43, chapter 44, chapter 45, Isaiah gave the name 
of somebody who was to be born about 150 years later. His grandfather had not been born. The person was named. Cyrus was named before his grandfather was born. That there was going to be somebody called Cyrus. And that person was going to be born about 120, 150 years later. And the person would do so, 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 and so. That is the way. That is the way. Please, read your Bible. I've mentioned the, where you can get the story. Isaiah chapter 42, chapter 43, chapter 44, chapter 45. You see the name of Cyrus there. The emperor of Persia. Cyrus was named 120, 150 years before he was born. Before he was born. Apparently before his grandfather was born. The man was named by the prophet of Israel. There's a difference. I'm, I'm warning anybody who, could, who will listen that there's a difference between the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, and the God that Enochadeboye is introducing to you people. The God Enochadeboye is introducing to your people is, is, is idol, is Satan. Is the one that does, that uses there's somebody here. That there's somebody, there's someone there. That is not the style. That is not the style. It, it is one way for anybody who has ears to listen and to see that Dr. Adeboye has got nothing to do with the God of the Bible. He has got nothing to do with the God of the Bible. To the, to the next thousand generations in your line, either backward or forward, if God needs to give anything, he will name you. He will name the person. Don't will name the person. It's as simple as that. He will give the name. He will give the, the identification will be such that nobody can miss it. When God wants to speak to a congregation, no matter how large, he addresses himself to individuals. So you may hear as we go along that there is someone here and at the end of the day the someone may end up to be about a hundred people or more. Don't think we have made a mistake. That's the way he talks. There's somebody here and, and, and my doctor said that uh, uh, that is the way God speaks. It, it does not mean that there's only one person. Could, there could even be hundred. No. No, that is the that is the style. That is the style. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. I grew up with an uncle. I grew up with an uncle who was an, who was an Ifa priest, and I can tell you that was the way the Baba used to speak when we were small. That was the way he spoke, and that is the way every person who is out to deceive you. Telling you that he can see the future. Whereas they have got no, they have got no connection at all with the God of the universe. That is the way they speak. Either in Nigeria or in Ghana, in China or India. Because by saying that there's somebody here in a crowd that is more than one, in any crowd that is more than one, that is more than one, by saying that there's somebody here in a crowd that is more than one, in a group that is more than one. The issue is that you cannot come back to ask the prophet how come his prophecy had failed. That is the issue. Because the consequences of the failure of prophecy in Christianity is actually capital punishment. The only way you know that Enoch Adeboye is a deceiver is that he uses the styles and the languages of deceivers. He uses the, the styles and the languages of shamans. He, play, he plays on the intelligence of people. On, he, he plays on your ignorance. That is true. Not just your intelligence. Because there's nobody who is intelligent, who is, who is really intelligent, that will be redeemed. There's none. I can tell you that, that one. There's nobody 
who will close his eyes in death and will not answer query. On his way to hell, everyone in redeem, they will regret. And you know why they will regret? They will regret because the Bible is available. They will, re they will regret. Whoever is listening to me, whether your, your friend, your uncle, your auntie, if you really like, if you really love them, if you really love them, you should warn them against Adeboye. Adeboye hears nothing. The, the God of the universe speaks nothing to Enoch Adeboye and everyone around them. Er anyone you see milling around uh, Redeem, the God of the universe, they are deaf. They are deaf and they are blind. They are deaf and they are blind. They are hearing nothing. Because God does not speak to people who disregard him. He doesn't do it. He does not do it. There is someone here. And that could possibly apply to 100 to 10,000. No. That is the way shamans do their thing. That is where they have been doing their thing. All through the generations. It is never, you will never see a prophet in the Bible who used that language. A word is enough. As the Lord Jesus Christ will say it, if anybody has ears, let him listen. It's as simple as that.